Teens in the juvenile justice system lead troubled lives with multiple and interrelated problems. The number of juvenile justice involved adolescents with significant substance abuse and other mental health needs is staggering. Over 2.3 million youth are arrested each year. Psychiatric disorders among juvenile offenders are high, more than 60% higher than the general teen population. Adolescents as a generation are at a higher risk for acquiring sexually transmitted diseases and HIV. For teens in the juvenile justice system, the rate of STDs and HIV is 15 to 20 percent. The volume of delinquency caseloads has strained the court's resources and programs. Four out of every five children and teens in the juvenile justice system have some involvement with drugs and alcohol. Adolescents in the juvenile justice system face additional disadvantage if they encounter clinicians who are not trained to work with juvenile offenders. Evidence-based therapies are being adapted to work with juvenile offenders. Signature features of these new models will include the collaborations they'll forge between substance abuse and juvenile justice professionals and settings. A version of MDFT called MDFT Detention to Community is designed specifically for juvenile justice involved teens. MDFT is the first intervention to demonstrate positive outcomes in all four target areas of the juvenile offender. Substance abuse, criminal behavior, mental health symptoms, and high-risk sexual behavior and incidents of HIV and STDs. Therapists start work with the teens immediately after they're arrested and placed in detention. They meet with the youth in the detention center and have family sessions during visiting hours. They also meet with the parents in the family's home. Therapists address the crisis of the arrest, the youth's full circumstances, including legal and school situation. They then start to plan from the beginning for the youth's release, including how the youth and family will deal with the charges, the court hearings, all the legal requirements. Drug testing is done in the context of the family work with close collaboration of juvenile justice professionals, including detention center staff, probation officers, court administrators, the state attorney, the public defender, and of course the judge. There's an aspect of this work that's indispensable to its success. Therapists really have no choice on this next point if they're to be effective with substance abusing juvenile justice involved teens and their families. Therapists must develop positive, outcome-oriented, ongoing relationships with all of these professionals. It's wise to consider these folks as collaborators. These actions will mobilize this team to work in the best rehabilitative interests of the youth and family. There's a long journey ahead to do the systems change work that will enable juvenile justice systems to incorporate models such as these. At the same time, progress has been made with this new approach. Positive clinical and systems level outcomes have been obtained. As a therapist, there is an opportunity to not only help kids overcome substance abuse, but affect policy change from the front lines of treatment.